Coming up next on Adventurer, the astronaut who flew Spaceship One high enough to win the prestigious Ansari X Prize. More when we return. Welcome to Adventurer, the show where guests truly push their lives to the limits. No talking heads here, just the real deals. I'm your host, Jim Clash. In 2004, Brian Binney flew Burt Rutan's Spaceship One to an altitude of 69 miles, completing the first non-governmental effort to put a man into suborbital space. For the feat, he won the $10 million Ansari X Prize for his employer. Today, Binney is here to tell us about that historic flight and to discuss the future of space tourism. Welcome, Brian. Thanks for coming on. Thank you, Jim. You know, you're the fifth astronaut we've had on. We had Excellent. Buzz Aldrin. We've had a spaceship shuttle uh, commander. We've had two tourist knots. But you're the first guy who's gone up in a private enterprise spacecraft. Tell us about that, that Ansari X Prize winning flight. Well, I, first, I feel in great company. Uh, thank you for the invitation. That uh, flight was very dynamic, a lot of fun. Uh, boy, when it, that rocket motor lights off, it is like a tsunami sweeps through the cabin and you are just carried away. It's uh, accompanied by shaking, shuddering noise. The stick forces uh, pick up on the uh, vehicle and uh, you're literally in the uh, arena fighting the bull, uh, trying to get this thing upstairs. And uh, uh, the reward is- uh, it's pretty amazing. It's well, well worth it though. Well, well, not just, I mean, I wanna ask you about the view, but, but you guys, it was the $10 million Ansari X Prize, and this was the second flight, and, and yeah. really there were only a few days left in the competition, so you, you had to do it, you had to nail it. It was, um, and it was tough, um, because the, the flight before, five days prior, had shown um, this uh, uh, directional instability, the 29 spins on that its was, way That up. was Mike Melville. We were all with our hearts in our throats poor, watching that. Poor Mike, uh, really got his stomach uh, churned on that uh, trip. Yeah. And um, uh, we really did not want to repeat that, even though it structurally wasn't an issue for the vehicle. Uh, we wanted to show that we could control it, understood it. And uh, we thought we actually did understand it. And so we went back into the simulator, not able to make any design changes to the vehicle, but changed the way we flew it. And it was a pretty big, uh, change to make in a few days and we lived in that simulator and uh, by golly it, uh, it worked just just like a champ. Now okay you're up there you're at 69 miles at your apogee right yeah. about 69 miles tell us what the view is. Up uh, there. That, you know the, the view is uh, really remarkable um, there's, there's almost three distinct uh, phases of it. Uh, if you look up there's that black void that is space uh, you know it's a menace it's a mystery it's majestic uh, down below is uh, panorama the likes you've never seen. Uh, a thousand mile vistas from Mojave, it was San Francisco, Baja Mexico, the Pacific, Sierra Nevada You mountains. can see all this just below well, your feet. Absolutely. <laughs> and then what separates these two is this thin blue electric ribbon of light. That's the atmosphere and it's just, it's awe inspiring. It, it really uh, grabs you. Uh, the eye is so much more dynamic than um, any camera or video. Okay, Brian, let's shift gears for a second. You were on the David Letterman show. What was scarier, taking the <laughs> spaceship one up into space or appearing on Letterman? Uh, there, there's no, uh, no uh, doubt about it. The most terrifying thing was uh, being on uh, national TV with David Letterman. You just don't know um, where he's going to come from. Uh, there's, there's no No script, prep? No prep. Uh, your, your bait out there. But he was terribly funny. Uh, Donald Trump before me, Mini Driver <laughs> after. Yeah, it was a wonderful experience, but uh, I wouldn't want to make a living uh, doing that for sure. Yeah, yeah, but, but, but it, it was a great experience. It right? was. Yeah, yeah, it was a lot of fun. Um, okay, now after Spaceship One, I know you guys are working on Spaceship Two, which is a bigger spacecraft, I think, to take people suborbital for Richard Branson's Virgin Galactic. How far along are you guys on that now? Are you well, testing anything? Not yet, but we're, we're pretty much uh, right on schedule, which is uh, we're completing manufacturing phase of uh, two vehicles and uh, putting the rocket motor uh, through its uh, paces. Um, so we're doing well. Um, it is a bigger vehicle, uh, both of them, and the rocket motor as well. So um, it's not going to go any quicker than the, the first time around just due to the size of it. Also. Uh, we're taking a bit more time and care given that it eventually gets handed over uh, to commercial companies and it has to pass FAA um, certification or licensing is the proper term. So um, uh, we think we're right on track as the, to the plan and Go. we think uh, staying the course, the end of 09 is, um, is about right for uh, commercial uh, ventures. Wow, the, that's, um, that's, that's pretty quick. It is. Well, it's a couple of years out, and we've been working at it for a couple of years, and, and so that was 
Is this right? this will take seven people, right, uh, as opposed to three? In it the is. Uh, it's actually a crew of two, so a pilot and slash co-pilot, uh, and then six passengers. Oh, so eight. So wow. there's room for eight. Uh, are you guys going to be taking journalists? Oh, you know, we, we have to take all the right people up, and uh, we're making a list and checking it twice. And uh, Can I be on that list? Yes. Yes, we'd <laughs> love to have you, Jim. Okay. And, uh, uh, I think it's, uh, it's going to be a thrilling experience. I really think it will sell itself, but uh, I think getting the right people up there initially would uh, certainly uh, promote it. You will be piloting some of these spacecraft, right? I uh, tell uh, Bert uh, I'm not hanging out in Mojave for, for my health. Um, <laughs> I love the flight test. I like the small team environment. There's uh, still some challenges ahead with Spaceship Two, even though we've done it uh, before already. And um, I think it's uh, the next few years between uh, ourselves and all the other players. It's uh, exciting times for commercial space. Well, I'm going to ask them that you be my pilot. Excellent. Thanks for coming on. Thank you, Jim. Thank you. Again, private astronaut Brian Binney. I'm Forbes adventurer Jim Clash. To read my column, pick up Forbes magazine or click on Forbes.com slash adventurer. And thanks for watching the Forbes Video Network.